now. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to Archie Hamilton Racing and to another video where today I cannot wait to get the show on the road for my new BMW M2 and it's just going to be an awesome day ahead. So as you last saw on my McLaren 720S I was doing something pretty wild, changing this into a wide body car, making it look better than flipping every single supercar under the sun and anyway today I'm going to give you a full update, we're going to go and see the car and hopefully everything is going to be okay. So first things first, here we go. Oh yes, this screen is nuts. It's time to fuel up the M2. Let's have a little walk around it. If you haven't seen it already, it is absolutely bonkers what we've done already. And uh, we still have more mods to go. The car leaves me about two days time and then it's going for more modifications. I can't help myself. I have a serious problem with modding cars. Now, I literally just jumped out of the car and I went, I can't believe I own that. I genuinely had that moment of realization that I own this car. It sounds crazy, because I've had crazy cars in the past, but it just looks that good. And I'm just completely blown away by the performance and everything. And I will be doing a true ownership review, what it's like to live with, etc. But it is insane this car, the way it looks. Now we've done the mods that we've done, we've done the front splitter, we've lowered it. That on the way to see your modified 720 is goals. We are absolutely smashing it at the moment and I love bringing the content to you guys as well. Um, plate wise, haven't decided, still sort of a little bit in limbo um, what plate to put on the car, uh, but it will be happening soon. I just, do you know what? I just haven't really got around to it. Uh, I just thought first things first, let's modify it, let's go to town on it and then we'll worry about the plate at a later date. Okay, I've just arrived at the place where I'm gonna see the McLaren. We have two very cool cars, got a very nice Rolls Royce. We also have Paddy's from PI Carbons, BMW M4 CSL, which you might remember I did a video on this quite a while ago. Uh, it's got all the lovely carbon on it. It's been lowered. It's super, super cool. I love the M4 CSL. Oh yeah. And we're back. M2 next to the M4. Right, and quickly guys, before we go in and see the car, this video has kind of been sponsored by Car Vertical. Now, if you haven't got involved with Car Vertical already, make sure you do, because if you've bought a car, it might have been an accident, used a taxi, minus discrepancy, etc. as you can see just here, it's just not worth it. And what I tell people, and I tell you guys a lot of the time, just get on there, give it a search, and then you will find out absolutely everything. Because we're all trying to save money on buying cars, selling cars, and making as much as when we sell the cars, and Car Vertical will just change your life. Now, as you can see here, this car has had an accident. Uh, the photos just bring up all of the accident details, etc. Now, if you were gonna buy this car, and it was all fixed, and you didn't know about this, you probably would not have bought it. So like I say, make sure before you go and buy your car, you just go onto Car Vertical, use my code, which is Archie, and a lot of people are messaging me going, you know what, I wish I knew that before. So make sure you click on the link, go and check them out now. <laughs> we are talking. I'm gonna quickly address one thing. The owner of Quattro Coachworks, who's fitting the PI carbon kit, he's a lovely guy, and I saw unnecessary comments in my last YouTube video with this car. Um, I wouldn't trust that guy on my mobile phone, etc. He's the best in the business. He's brilliant at what he does. I really don't want to see this, so please don't do that. And um, yeah, just enjoy the ride with this bit. Right, the main man, Ish, is back. Right. How are we going, Ish? You've been smashing it. You yeah, are the you, man. Yeah, well, me and my, me and my panel guys. Me, me and the main guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah the main guys. Talk us it. round. This is so different. Completely different. You see how much it changes the car now. I know. Well, no. right, right now, obviously, in, this, in the state it's in now, it's obviously we're just dry building it. So this is just us putting it together now. Make sure everything's perfect. Everything fits because every, every, people who know know that McLarens are not consistent. Like, not you, have you seen some bad ones? Yeah. <laughs> You, you see some 720s, the gaps from one side to the other are completely different. No they way. Don't fit, they don't panel properly, so we dry build every single one first. Make sure everything's perfect, everything's right, yeah. all the gaps are correct, consistent. We make sure we're happy with everything before we go into any paint. With, with so everything. this is why this is fitted. So yeah. if anyone out there is thinking this is not how it's going to be, 
it's going to get lacquered, etc. You just fit it all before and then take fit it off. Fit it all before, make sure it's perfect, then we remove everything, paint it, then the fitting then, back process is straightforward, isn't it? We, yeah. we, we already know it all fits. Perfect. Now tell us about the gaps and stuff like that in terms of how perfect it is. And is that, is that difficult to do? Well, you can see from here, look, we haven't sanded anything. We haven't, we haven't, there's no filler in this. You can see it. That's, what, that's one of the reasons why we did it like this. So you guys can see clearly that we've not tampered with any of this. We've bolted it on, we've set it up. The gaps are exactly as you I see know. them. There's no filler in them. There's no, you know, filing, no messing around. It's just bolted straight on. And this is paneled up perfect. I'm, I'm so happy with the way this is. Man, it is insane. And now this front splitter, just it just changes the whole car, doesn't it? In terms but of... I've seen some other, some, some of the other kits that are out there. This gap here, you can see a, you can see a gap through here. Yeah. In some instances, you can see daylight. But with this... <laughs> daylight? Yeah, you can see kidding. daylight from here. Right, but it, with, with this instance, look, our, we made sure our one had a return edge on it. Nice. So when this locks in, this doesn't move anyway. And that I'll, is... We'll have a look at the underside in a minute as well. Mate, that is ridiculous. Mate, that looks like a flipping spaceship. We haven't even finished yet. So if, you, if you look underneath it, it's not actually screwed on underneath. Okay. Because the under tray is missing, but look, it's not going anywhere. No. I'm actually putting a lot of force on it. And it's not going anywhere. Walk us around, what else we got then? Okay. Front, that's the front. Obviously the roof scoop. The roof thing. scoop there, lovely. Sure to make all going to be, all going to be lacquered. We've got the side skirts. Yeah. Again, we've just offered them up. So we know they fit. So at least then we know it's right. And everything's exactly how it should be. The spoiler's fitting. Mate, the spoiler's nuts. Mate. The original. It's a big difference, isn't it? Yeah. That is absolutely and meant. Again, if you look under here, all the original bolts. We've not messed with anything. We've not. It's all original bolts, original fixings, etc. We've already tried the light in there, but we've removed it already. Okay. We've tested it, it goes up and down, it works. So you just test it, up and down, job done. Make sure it works, make sure all the gaps are level, because on some McLarens, again, these quarters, if they ever have to be taken off, they're actually adjustable. So when, oh, wow. when people put them back on, they've got spaces in them, they, they can actually move in and out and up and down. And I've noticed that when some cars have gone in for service work at McLaren and they've come back, the spoiler goes down. But was sitting up <laughs> and, and all of this is adjustable as well this whole framework's adjustable so sometimes you do have to make certain adjustments to make it fit correctly you've seen it all of me and, and make it fit right yeah it's, it's not it's just the way they're made really it's just right. not, a, not a, uh, an error or anything in that respect obviously this the red yeah up, that's so. that's crazy that is that so, diffuser is absolutely mind-blowing and that is obviously just well different level isn't it so, you can see it from the, if you look from the side compared to the original, I don't know if you've got a side by side shot from before. No, so well, you've, only got, you've only got to look at it from the side to see the difference. Well, I love as well this part and obviously all the different, I mean, and it is just genuinely. Yeah. These are a lot bigger than the original. Yeah, I think, that's the, I think that's the thing that people don't realise is that is just so sturdy that you are actually replacing the car with parts which are 10 times as good. 10 and I, times as good, if not as good. I know. So what's the next step? We are wheels are arriving, by the way, everybody. The are the aftermarket wheels. Hence my my wheels are here. We're all part of it. What? Where do we go from here? Uh, we're going into primer and paint. Okay. So all of the carbon is going to get primed with a special primer. Yeah. Even though it's exposed carbon, there's a special primer that you use. You've got to put it on the raw carbon first. Uh, UV protection, etc., and so on. After the special primer, it's the clear coat. Uh, on this, the wings we're going to paint. Yeah. That's how you wanted them. You wanted the wings painted the same colour as the car? Yeah, so the, 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 I think, yeah, the, this part painted in terms of so it matches the car. Yeah, the wings are getting painted. And then, and then we'll leave this exposed. Yeah, but this part here is going to be exposed. Oh, oh you're going to leave this part exposed? So, so, so this bit here, <sighs> is going to be exposed carbon. This is going to be painted the same colour as the car. Uh, the bonnet is getting left exposed. Roof scoop exposed. exposed. Right, and then what we're going to do now is we're going to take you underneath the car because what we were saying before is that this kit is so well done, the PI carbon kit, that basically all the bolts, uh, well, all the original bolts fit in, right? Oh, look, all the yeah. original fixings. This is the inspection plates. So you can see like not, not, nothing's been affected. Oh, this yeah. doesn't affect this. Yeah. So it's all exactly as it was. Even look around here, all the notches, everything is exactly where it's supposed to be. And if you look here, see all the original holes? Yeah. For the, for the wheel arch liners, they're all, exactly where Mate, this to be. this kit is absolutely mind-blowing and it 
look even follows it up to here. I know. And that's the thing. It's not just a kit. It's I, I personally think it's just adding something way better than the original car. This is how it should have been, right? Exactly. That's how I see it and how you see it. And that's why the, you guys had the idea of the kit. Because you're like, when you see that, you're like, it is going to be like a flipping spaceship. Is a, there is a there is a lot there. So you reckon a couple of weeks away? A couple of weeks away from finishing. And then we're going to be done. Yes, Main man. But the original bracket. The On original the splitter. Yep, and the original fixing points. Everything is as it should be. But we this is all out of the mold, like how it should be. Look, even here. I know. Everything is how it should be. It's nuts. I don't, it literally is the perfect fitment. I've never actually seen a kit everybody if, who has a 720s if they're not buying this they don't have the right idea but because it's good that you can see it from this angle as well because when the cars lower down it hides a lot i know so you can look at it like this now and you can try and see it as you really need to do look even here look the gap everything is oh really the consistent. gap yeah it's all consistent i guess the question i want to ask is you've seen lots of mclaren 720s's yeah is this a good one yeah, this is actually a mint car. Really? It's a good car. Okay, it's I like been, that. Because you've seen it all, right? It's not been abused, Nando. This one hasn't been abused. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm absolutely buzzing. I walked in, saw that car. I was like, I can't believe what we're doing. This is the most mental thing I've ever done on my channel. I can't wait to see the carbon lacquered, the wheels arrive, and there's other bits and pieces which we're going to be doing as well. And I guess we're probably a couple of weeks away for the final, final reveal, which would just be ridiculous. But I do want to film the part where the the lacquering and the paint etc happens on the fenders i want to i want to document it all genuinely i've never done something where i'm building like a wide-bodied car ever and i feel like this is just such unique cool content ish is amazing he knows everything he's talking about the pi carbon kit as well is the best in the game there is not a better one out there and the fitment everything is just i'm i'm, I'm blown away by what they're just what they're doing and what we're just about to reveal so i hope you like it let me know in the comments what you think i'm replying to all the comments i love doing it keeping you guys updated huge thanks as well to pi carbon so make sure you check out their website as always because it's just ridiculous and quattro coach works as well more soon see you then